G'day mates and welcome to a Cold War mod for Hearts of Iron 4. You might say for a moment, hang on a second. That's German music. That's an orcish horn. That's Fatherland, spelt really weirdly with what appears to be... I, I assume they've edited the letters of Hearts of Iron to make Fatherland and the L's and I. And it's in 1964. Yes, we are playing the Cold War mod where Germany won. So... The treaties symbolizing the end of World War II have transformed our planet into a complex system of hatred, discretion, and uncertainty. Germany continues its final push into the Soviet Union. The United States slowly spreads influence in Americas and Asia. The British government in exile state struggles to stay afloat. And the new communist order in China strengthens. Will the Cold War turn hot? So welcome to Fatherland. And the first thing you're going to notice is that Adolf Hitler is as old as a Uganda Knuckles meme. Funnily enough, this mod shares that similarity in the fact that I had to get it running in 1.4 with a fix, because running in 1.3 didn't work, and running in 1.5 meant the Soviet Union didn't exist. That was a strange bug. So we've got all your favourite characters. We've got Mao, we've got knockoff Stalin, Benito Mussolini, old Hitler, and Joseph P. Kennedy Sr., the assassination survivor, which is honestly impressive, because I think that's how most US presidents go out. We've got Winston Churchill, who's in Canada, and is really fucking pissed off, and slash or bemused at the Indian to his right. And yeah, the Indians apparently are now free. Should we play the game as old Hitler? Yes, of course we're going to play as old Hitler. What a beautiful world we have here. The German Reich has pushed the Soviet Union all the way back. The French state is ours. Why is Belgium still called Belgium? Hey! <gasps> no! That man is the happiest man alive. I'm the leader of Belgium! <laughs> well, that just makes me happy. So we've got a bunch of puppets right there. What the shit? The SS apparently made a colony somewhere. Oh, in Madagascar! There we go. So they've just got this lovely little colony where I just... Let's... That's honestly probably... There's probably some fucked up shit going on there. Let's just not visit. So we've obviously got the Soviet Union, the People's Republic of China's here, the Indian Confederation's rocking around, who are apparently on their own. Oh, they've got little puppets they can- <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this is just a kebab shop. Right, moving on, we've got, uh, oh, all the way across, oh, the Australasian uh, Commonwealth. Ah, I see they've, uh, they've taken back the Ninth State, good job, Robert Menzies, you did a good one there, mate. The United States have taken some of the uh, Papua New Guinea, that's a little unfortunate. What happened to Japan then? Wait, hang on, what did happen to Japan in this world? They apparently went democratic. Well then. So the World Treaty Organization is around. Winston's obviously up in Canada. We all have generic focus trees because this mod doesn't actually have a focus tree yet, which I kind of find sad, but it's got a lot of events, so it sort of makes up for it. So the factions in this world are the World Treaty Organization, the Nanjing Pact, the Roman Empire, because Benito Mussolini simply could not shine the shoes of the Germans any longer. On top of that, there's also administration choices, and we've decided to go for no women, for they have cooties. We can go medium taxes, majority race, of course, we can switch all those around. High military spending, we're also a UN member. You can be a UN member, or an observer, or a non-member, uh, which is a little weird. And then you can do environmental controls and stuff. So, here's a better idea. Let's just take all these units that are spread around the Empire to defend everything, and just put them in one giant line under this guy who seems to be really happy to be here, and just tell him that he gets to do the job of actually wiping out the Soviet Union once and for all. That sound fun? Guys, sounds like real good fun. Ah, uh, yes, yet another mod where everyone has no ships at all because the mod maker says, you know what, fuck the Navy. Because really, the only reason the Navy exists in Hearts of Iron 4 is so Britain has something to feel good about. So the tech tree is mostly the same, you've got just expanded bits. For some reason, this is like the second Great War tank now, it's just sort of a repeat of the first tree over again, but whatever. You know, it's all pretty similar. Um, we also don't have any planes researched either. Um, a little bit extra on the uh, whole... Oh... Oh my, more nukes. Hello, yes please. But on top of that, we also have space, which has apparently <laughs> just got a dog in the corner. And uh, we're going to be stuck in a space race with the US. Oh man. Hang on, where is it? Where is it? Where can I send dogs off? Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is why the dog's in the corner. <laughs> He's preparing himself to be the first mammal in space. <laughs> this sweet boy. Franco's ready for vacation. <laughs> Look at his little p 
pink strip. <laughs> That's his casual attire. Norway's run by a fucking pirate. But the real fun is the fact that there's just buildings running most countries. So you got Switzerland, obviously Denmark. You've got Serbia, and then if you go into Finland, apparently a Colosseum runs the country. So that's nice. So whilst the Soviets almost have the same number of divisions as me, they have three factories. So this is going about as well as you could expect. Somehow I even have more manpower than the Soviet- Oh, but I've, I've already encircled them. Yeah, this is gonna be over quick, innit? Oh shit! Kennedy's here and has arrived at this delightfully comical music. What is this? Mm, okay. After the American president's attempted assassination in Dallas last year, the Secret Service have taken numerous steps to boost security in the German capital. Air Force One touched down early this morning, and this, already the streets of Berlin are filled with spectators gleefully cheering for Mr. Kennedy. The president will meet with Adolf Hitler and his ca uh, cabinet in the Chancellery, and then will proceed to the tour of the supposed world capital. The towering arch, the gargantuan Volkschall, the leader of the Western Pact, shall sure be amazed by the what the fuck Germania in all its glory. He certainly will. God. Fucking damn it, Goebbels! <sighs> the conference was hosted by Goebbels since Hitler's in bed having a bit of a nap. He's insulted Kennedy and demanded he accept ridiculous terms. After he almost jokingly stated that Eisenhower is a stupid pig, Kennedy said enough is enough and drove off. Good one, Goebbels. Hitler's 75th birthday. As the men, women, and children of Germany go about their lives, it is with great joy that they also celebrate a most amazing and glorious day. Today is our great Führer's 75th birthday, and as he rises on this beautiful morning, we as a people must rejoice, for we are led by such a wise leader even in old age. Now throughout the country there shall be a holiday, so all those who love the Reich can come to the capital and join in the festivities. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You burned all the Jews. Happy birthday to you. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, no. This is so fucking broken. Traded goods, I see. Name, 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 name. Yeah, I'm just gonna make my own goods if that's okay. We all apparently have lost our flags while we're at it too. The Soviet Union collapses. For the past few weeks, the Red Army commanders on the front line have surrendered to our forces, and several party leaders in Siberia and Central Asia have announced their secession from the Union. The halls of power in Vladivostok seem to be filled with dissent, and not long ago a group of generals marched in the chairman's office to demand that innocent lives be spared and that the Soviet Union surrender. But it was too late for a conditional surrender, as less than an hour later the entire USSR collapsed before our eyes. Rioters, rioters looted. I mean, I normally looters loot. Red loyalists executed, and streets consumed by destruction signaled the end. Oh boy. Oh boy, shit happened. Oh, a lot of shit happened. But hey, it's it's not time to give up just yet, boys. We've still got stuff to do. Okay, so we get to decide on the leader of... Apparently it's just a badge of the SS. We get to decide on who leads Ukraine. Should it be young Adolf or Dietrich? No, it's young Adolf. Of course it is. Oh god, you don't look like Adolf. Alright, next. Leader of the Osterland. Hmm... Do we want the SS in charge or the Wehrmacht? Well, I mean, let's be as evil as possible. Let's get the SS in here, can we, please? That's not Ostland, that's Ostland. Hey, you've got a lot of chins. All right, so let's see what's happening over here then. We've got the Siberian Republic. We've got this puppet of China now, okay. You're just kind of chilling there. Hey, you're the default Asian guy, nice. Um, bunch more SS people. And I mean, frankly, the, the Soviets just sort of got fucked. Oh, apparently... <laughs> Apparently we set up a government for the fucking mountains on their own. This uh, this seems like a very important region that needs to be closely governed. With the Union dealt with, Adolf is turning his sights to the one smug prick left in the world, Benito Mussolini. Especially since he's a national fascist and we're national socialists. There simply cannot be peace between us. Don't be ridiculous. So we're going to justify our war goal. Which is... Going to take a while. It's alright. We'll get around to it next year. There will be war, Mussolini, don't you worry now. Oh boy. Oh. Oh shit, no, never mind. Yep, that's, uh... That... I'm gonna have to miss out on that war. Just three months ago, the people of this Great Reich celebrated the 75th birthday of our wise leader. It seems, however, his old age has caught up with the Fuhrer, and now he must deliver the saddest news of the century. The Fuhrer of all German and European peoples, Adolf Hitler, is dead. 
He succumbed to God in the company of his wife, Eva Hitler, and all those in his inner circle. Leaders from throughout Europe shall be coming to the capital to mourn, and the German people shall do the same in their homes. Theodor Schultz dies. So, god damn it, we've lost Hitler. We've lost the best boy, but now we get elections. Don't worry, we still will invade these people. <laughs> this is entirely the wrong sort of music. This is not good music when your Fuhrer's dead. <laughs> Let's turn this shit up, though. Alright. While the Fuhrer's health was worsening, his inner in, in Sir Circle, as well as many other Bo uh, Berlin politicians, attempted to gain his total trust. Never for the goodwill of their leader. The reason for this was they'd still not named a successor to the highest position in the nation. Now his will has been scoured, to the dismay of many, he's still not named an heir. Currently, the Reichstag will remain control, but in the next few weeks or months, with political bloodbaths, bath, or even worse. So, we now get to actually vote in a way on who the, uh, new... <laughs> this fucking song. <laughs> who the new Fuhrer will be. It's done by making choices, and I don't actually know what the choices will lead to, so what I'm going to do is make the worst choices possible, and then we'll see what happens. Also, German can into space. Hang on a fucking minute! <clears throat> it seems this is no longer belie a belief, as the directors of the RLR, alongside Hitler, announced that they had launched the first satellite just a few hours ago. Uh-oh. I think zombie Hitler's come back. Okay, the first of the votes is being held. Should the corporate policy be a communist one, a status quo, a complete free market, or Italian corporatism? Of course, of course, let the communists take control. Perfect. I feel like this is going to... <laughs> like, what is this fucking song now? What is this music? I love it. Paint it black German? What? Is this Vietnam? Oh my fucking god it is. Now colonialism. What should we do? Should we end Eastern colonialism? Should we send more to the East? This fucking painted black song. Or should we develop the African colonies? You know what? I think that we should send more to the East because there should be Germans all world around. Communist Germans specifically. Madagascar, do we shut down Camp Zero? Wait, hang on. These people? This is Camp Zero? Because these are the Frenchies. What the fuck are they doing here? Should I? What is Camp Zero? I feel like this is very bad. Yeah, shut it down? Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut. What if Camp Zero is like in case an infection takes hold of the world? What do I do? Alright, just... Yeah, I'm clicking. Alright, we clicked one of them. I have no idea which one. No, it was too torn. Okay, scientific focus. Of course. We must. Ooh, the elections are complete. Who is Adolf Hitler's successor? Is Goebbels? Oh, for fuck's sake! No! No! Oh, the last time I did this, I actually got the guy who runs the SS camp. This guy. God damn it. Um, well, shit. I can't even make his plane crash like I could make the other guy's plane crash. God fucking damn it, Goebbels. He's so tiny. <laughs> Look at him. Well then, should we get back to killing Mussolini? We probably should. I wonder if we could have gotten Mussolini in charge. That would have been impressive. Disgusting. Why is Johnny B. Good in this list? <laughs> you are fucking kidding me. Oh, Braun, please no. Please no, Braun. No. Braun, no. The German Reich begins lunar missions. Huzzah. Uh, apparently, we just get more people to lose their base national unity because we're going to the moon. Excellent. The day that I capitulate someone just because I went to the moon too many times would be a good bloody day. Okay, this is actually just paint it black. Come on now. So the double dicking has begun, but here's a fun fact. We have two strategic bombers, and that means we have <laughs> aerial superiority over all of Italy because we're the only ones in the world to invent flight. So hello, Rome. Yes, I... I don't quite agree with that Pope fella you've got locked up there. I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to him. I'm also wondering how we're dropping three nuclear bombs with two planes, but... Oh, holy shit! Look, they both rocked up at the same time. What good timing, lads? Oh, nice! 
That was actually a pretty shot. Christ, spiffing would have done that. God, it's beautiful. Everyone, kill them. Kill them. Oh, oh, the dog's here. Uh-oh. Perfect. We've taken 36 states and puppeted the Italian Social Republic. Who's in charge here? No one. Oh, oh, I, I, I thought it was going to be nice. Well, to finish this all off, let's spark a world war the way it should be done. <laughs> By declaring war on South Vietnam. This is the leader of the Republic of Britain. Is led by Oswald Mosley. Does that just look like someone's glued some white strips to his eyebrows and a white moustache on him? Or am I just going mad? What the- is this- is this House of the Fucking Rising Sun? Oh my god, what is this mod? This is my favourite page. This is just a bunch of dogs. Oh my god, yes! God damn it, music mod. Well, off the war goes. Again, I don't really- let's just call allies. I don't really care about winning this war, I just want to invade the US because that sounds kind of funny. Oh boy. And so we have to sort of wait until our ships get built to do that. Oh god, this is like Trotsky all over again. Not only did we put a dog called Anna into space, but it came from Poland! <gasps> Aww. And, uh, and then also, also, uh, Anna died. So the reason we just delayed there for so long is I wanted to do something <laughs> that I've always wished I could do. Minus 101% research time. Yes, that's right. We research things instantly now. So that's two days. And that, I think the only reason it's two days is because we're ahead of time on this one. This is three days. Ooh, if we go back here, one day. Literally everything. Um, this was actually like a thousand percent ahead of time, I think. When uh, when we first started it. Yeah, and like this one's 11 years ahead of time. It's only going to be 22 days. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. And I, and I quite enjoy the ability to just do this. Oh, helicopter engine. Wait, there's helicopters? What? What the shit? Oh, nice. Let's research some of these. Okay, well, this is ridiculous now. I'm just going to stop researching things because they do all research quite, like, literally instantly for the most part. Yep, like, there we go. Oh, and that's finished. Oh, God, the three things just finished. We've just researched all of these choppers. Maybe the reason I want to get the choppers is so I can drop a nuke from one of them, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Um... You know what? Perfect. Get some Mountaineer boys. Let's invade America, shall we? Oh, god damn it. That finished literally instantly. Hey, we've touched down in what? What did they, did they seriously? I oh, did. They just left Washington unguarded. Well, then, let's move back over to here. Hang on a second. Do, 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 do. Deploy our boys. See, what we've done actually is in invading America, we've, uh, oh, sorry, in South America rather, we just put our boys in here. We distracted them from the north, and now they've deployed all their guys down here, and they never expected us coming from the top. So now we're just going to capture their entire country, because there's literally no one here to stop us. Here's something a little bit funky. Japan is the only other major in this faction. I'm not going to go invade them, because I'm fucking done with this mod, but... Yeah, okay. That's a little weird. Why isn't Churchill getting a say in this? Oh, shit! That went over easy! I was actually trying to bloody invade him and nuke him and shit, but I guess they sort of capitulated when I got to about Missouri. Well then, should we finish off Churchill and call it a day? I think we should. Let's just walk around and sort of kick their teeth in. There we go. Go on, Quebec. Actually, can we nuke you at least? Because America really just didn't want to get nuked for some reason. It was kind of annoying me. Hi. Hi, Quebec. Can we nuke the Frenchies at least like in honorary spirit? Oh, Why aren't my nukes working? Can we, can we deploy those fucking attack helicopters we got? Yeah, there we go. And Canada is gone. Thank God. Look at this beautiful... Oh, there's a little spot. We'll have to clean that up. And the Allies have stuck their penis into me. I think I determined they were to reach Philadelphia as well. Apparently they heard my uh, nuke <laughs> helicopters are being stored there. Still don't work, by the way, which makes me quite sad. So, um, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. That was Fatherland. That was a weird fucking mod. They still, like, look at this research tree. This is all done manually, by the way, because I have to keep clicking and clicking. Yep, it's research. That's right. This is not fucking... Research all. Oh, should we actually do like the the manned Martian flyby to finish it off, should we? Oh god, I don't really care. I'm good. I'm done. I'm happy. Oh good. Manned Martian landing. That's right. <laughs> the Germans said, fuck this sweet earth. We're going to the moon. Come on. Uh, the, the moon? Mars. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Hey, we got a moon base. Oh, nice. The German moon base. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
God, am I glad I stuck around to see this. Yep. Yep. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> oh, God. There's a Mars moon base for the Nazis. Perfect. Oh, God, that's going to take 44 days. That is just a bunch of people on Mars with a Nazi flag. Excellent. Wonder who photoshopped all of these. Hey, efficient fuel. Perfect. Colonization modules. Mars base and Mars colonization. Lovely. There we go. I'm surprised there isn't some sort of giant swastika painted on that dome. Excellent. What is the national unity of everyone else now that we've just fucking blasted off to space? Oh my god, their national unity is so bad. Australia only has 50. What is Japan at? Also, I'm not invading Japan because the fucking ocean between us, I can't actually go across it. And there we go. Thus, Germany went to the moon. And Mars. And back. And apparently the Allies just really fucking wanted Philadelphia. I'm good. I'm done. I'm leaving. This is a fucking travesty. Bye-bye.